In October of 2023, the US FDA approved two new novel treatments for ulcerative colitis. The two products were Velsipity, made by Pfizer, and Omvo, made by Lilly. Let's find out which one may be better for you. The information presented in this video should not be used for diagnosing or treating a health problem. Consult your healthcare provider before making any changes to your health plan. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on new product approvals and other pharmacy information. Ulcerative colitis, or UC, is one of the two main forms of inflammatory bowel disease, the other being Crohn's disease. While patients may exhibit multiple symptoms, the colon is the main organ affected. In general, UC begins in the rectum and moves upward depending on the severity. There are five main types of UC, ulcerative proctitis, proctosigmoiditis, left-sided colitis, pancolitis, and acute severe UC, also known as fulminant colitis. UC is a chronic and often debilitating condition that affects an estimated 1.25 million people in the United States. Symptoms of UC can include chronic diarrhea with blood and mucus, uh, also abdominal pain and urgency. However, its impact can span beyond the physical to other aspects of life due to the chronic and unpredictable nature of symptoms. Patients with UC will have flares and relapses of disease where prior therapy may no longer provide the same relief. It is important to have different types of products available as patients respond differently to available treatment options. Long-term treat therapy with products like steroids can lead to unwanted adverse effects. So products with long-term, better long-term safety profiles are still needed. Other uh, current uh, therapies for UC include uh, products like mesalamine or sulfasalazine, which are amino salicylates, uh, corticosteroids, immunomodulators, and then as a last line therapy would be surgical procedures such as colectomy. Now let's talk about the two new products that were approved by the FDA. First, uh, Velsipity. Uh, Velsipity is a sphincosine 1-phosphate receptor modulator. So what it does is that it partially and reversibly blocks the capacity of lymphocytes to egress from lymphoid organs, reducing the number of lymphocytes in the peripheral blood. The mechanism by which uh, velsipity, the active ingredient atrasimod, exerts therapeutic effects in uh, ulcerative colitis is unknown, but it may involve the reduction of the lymphocyte migration uh, into the intestines. S1P receptor modulators have been in the market since 2010 but primarily indicated for the use of multiple sclerosis. Its use in ulcerative colitis is new. Uh, the US FDA approval was based on results from uh, two different uh, studies as part of the Elevate Ulcerative Colitis program uh, run by the manufacturer. Uh, the two studies evaluated the safety and efficacy of velsipity uh, two milligram once daily on clinical remission in UC patients who had previously failed or were intolerant to at least one conventional biologic or Janus kinase inhibitor. Nearly two thirds of patients in the Elevate UC 52 and Elevate UC 12 studies were naive to biologic or JAK inhibitor therapy, and these studies were also the only studies for advanced therapies for ulcerative colitis to include patients with isolated proctitis. Both studies achieved all primary and secondary efficacy endpoints with a favorable safety profile consistent with previous studies of vulcipity. In the Elevate UC52 trial, clinical remission was 27% for patients receiving vulcipity compared to 7% for patients receiving placebo at week 12 and was 32% compared to 7% at week 
52. In the Elevate UC12 study, clinical remission was achieved among 26% of patients receiving vulcipity compared to 15% receiving placebo. So if you compare the two studies at week 12, uh, the patients receiving vulcipity for one study was 27% clinical remission and the other was 26%. So uh, the, the data was reproducible. All key secondary efficacy endpoints were met at week 12, including endoscopic improvement and mucosal healing. The safety of vulcipity was consistent with previous studies, with the most common adverse reactions being headache, elevated liver tests, and dizziness. OMVO is the only UC treatment that selectively targets the P19 subunit of interleukin-23, thereby inhibiting the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. So interleukin-23 or IL-23 is involved in mucosal inflammation and affects the differentiation, expansion, and survival of T cell subsets and innate human immune cell subsets, which represent sources of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Research in animal models has shown that pharmacologic inhibition of IL-23 P19 can ameliorate intestinal inflammation. The approval of OMVO was based on results from uh, the Lucent program. So again, two studies, Lucent UC1 and Lucent UC2, uh, which uh, combined uh, led to 52 weeks of uh, continuous uh, treatment for the patients. All patients in the Lucent program had past treatments, including biologic treatments that did not work stopped working or that they could not tolerate. So after 12 weeks of treatment with OMVE, which is the completion of the Lucent UC1 uh, study, nearly two thirds of patients achieved clinical response and nearly one fourth uh, achieved clinical remission compared to placebo, which was at 43% and 15%. <clears throat> Among those who achieved clinical response at week 12, OMVO demonstrated consistent efficacy across subgroups with 51% of all patients and 45% of patients who failed prior treatment with a biologic or JAK inhibitor achieved clinical remission at one year compared to placebo. Among those who achieved clinical response at 12 weeks, one half achieve steroid-free clinical remission at one year, compared to 27% at placebo. And this was data from uh, at the conclusion of the Lucent UC2 study, completing one full year of treatment. Per a post hoc analysis, nearly all patients, 99%, who achieved clinical remission at one year were steroid-free. Patients in steroid-free clinical remission were steroid-free for at least three months prior to the end of the 52-week assessment. Among those who achieved clinical remission at 12 weeks, approximately two-thirds of patients remained, <clears throat> two-thirds of patients maintained clinical remission through one year of continuous treatment uh, compared to placebo at 40%. Now let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of these two new products. Uh, as discussed, they both present new mechanisms of actions that were not previously approved for the treatment of ulcerative colitis. Uh, Vulcipity is a sphingosine 1-phosphate receptor modulator, and OMVO is an interleukin-23 antagonist. Both indicated for moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis in adults. Data on uh, the pediatric population is still unknown. Uh, for dosing, uh, velcipity is available as a tablet and it's taken two milligram orally once daily. OMVO is an in injection and uh, there is an induction period first, uh, 300 milligrams intravenous infusion at weeks zero, four, and eight. Uh, it's available in a single dose vial. And then there's a maintenance phase, uh, 200 milligram subcutaneous, subcutaneous injection, uh, given as two consecutive injections of 100 milligram each at week 12 and every four weeks thereafter. 
this is a 100 milligram single dose pre-filled pen formulation. Uh, contraindications, uh, the list of contra contraindications for vulcipity is longer, uh, and it includes uh, if the patient experienced any major cardiovascular incident in the last six months, uh, please refer to the complete product uh, information for full details. History or presence of Mobitz type 2, second degree or third degree uh, AV block. Six sinus syndrome, sinoatrial block. Unless the patient has a functioning pacemaker, uh, if they don't, then uh, these uh, AV blocks uh, would be a contraindication. For OMVO, uh, the contraindications include hypersensitivity to the active ingredient or any of the excipients in the product. For warnings and precautions, uh, Velsipity, uh, uh, if you have any of the following conditions, do speak to your doctor uh, prior to taking Velsipity, and that includes uh, infections, cardiac conduction delays, uh, liver injury, macular edema, increased blood pressure, fetal risk, malignancies, uh, posterior re reversible encephalopathy syndrome, respiratory effects, unintended additive immune system effects from prior treatment with immunosuppressive or immune modulating drugs and uh, immune system effects after stopping vulcipity. Uh, for OMVO, uh, warnings and precautions uh, do include hypersensitivity reactions with the product, uh, infections, uh, tuberculosis, hepatotoxicity, and immunizations. Uh, so speak to your healthcare provider prior to uh, taking OMBO if you uh, feel you're at risk for any of these uh, conditions. The most common uh, adverse reactions with Velsipity included headache, elevated liver tests, and dizziness. For OMBO, uh, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, injection site reactions, rash, headache, and herpes viral infection. So generally speaking, uh, both products uh, represent a rather favorable uh, adverse uh, reaction profile. So I, f I hope you found this brief overview of these two new products for ulcerative colitis helpful. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for any other topics involving any other pharmaceutical products uh, that you'd like me to cover, please do enter that into the, uh, into the chat. And please, of course, uh, sub subscribe to our channel so you can uh, be kept up to date on new videos and also like and share uh, with others. Thank you.